Now, even though we have to go to work on Friday, we still love it anyway. Mm. You know why? It's Wake Up Nigeria. Of so. course. And <laughs> now it is a beautiful, beautiful Friday morning. Talk to us today. And of course, we're welcoming you to another edition of Wake Up Nigeria. My name is Titi Lyle Owens. And I'm Yomi Okwe. The three hour journey starts now when you need to know that uh, you can do this uh, with us, even on the move. Mm. Uh, so if you have to be at work or you have to be on the road for whatever reason, we're on tvcontinental.tv and on Facebook right now at TVC Connect. Send in your comments on social media, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, right here on the show. Yes, indeed. We can't wait to see those comments. And if you want to be extra covered for the next three hours, download the mobile app right now. You can get it on an iOS store, Android store. Please, just watch us from your devices anywhere in the world. Yeah, so it's going to be a special day. It's uh, it's Friday, so we're a bit chill. Mm, just Even relax. our outfits are just, you know, yeah, like, she's wearing jeans and, yeah, you know, just, doing a thing. We should have made it to work. So, <laughs> <laughs> so like, first off this morning, we uh, will be getting a live performance from alternative music artist and songwriter, Bossum. Mm. Can you see that guitar? I know he knows how to use it. And uh, well, you can find inspiration from anywhere. For fashion this morning, Bell CEO Folake Okunaya is going to be displaying a collection of headpieces inspired by the Met Gala, which happened recently. And uh, ahead of the EPL matches uh, to come this weekend, Mike will be doing a preview with Sam Adeyemi. No we're also going to be bringing you some music today. Uh, for the second time, Terry Akewe, better known as Terry, will be uh, bringing us the second performance. He won the City People Talent Hunt uh, Award and has been waxing stronger since then. Uh, dance performances uh, never end on the show. And ND's Performing Arts Academy uh, was created for dance, music and theater. And they're going to be doing a performance for us much later on on the show. Our guest of the day is an actress who came into the limelight for a role in the 2008 movie Reloaded and said, Ikbe Etim will be joining us for a chat. Yeah, Nigerian actresses can be dramatic, can't they? No, but if you actually have seen that movie, mm. um, it's one of the first um, Nsekbe movies I've watched mm. and that I really, really had admired Aww. her you know, acting skills. She's such a fantastic actress. I can't wait to meet her. And um, I mean, that role basically, uh, some women, mm. I don't want to use the word mm. a lot of women, some women are actually leaving that role right mm. now where mm. their husband wants fresh cooked meal, not <laughs> okay. in the freezer kind of meal, mm. freshly cooked. Wow. I mean, it, as much as, as, much as she, she, she is a housewife, it actually puts a lot of pressure yeah. on, you know, the woman because mm -hmm. you're mentally thinking, what's my husband going to eat? Oh my God. She's like, you're constantly in that, you know, mm. space where you are in, it's like living in fear. Mm. Like, what if he doesn't like it? What if he likes it? What um, if... You need to find if? that out before you marry him though. You need to be... What you kind need of person to, he is? Yeah, like? you need, you, if you know you can't handle that, you need to find out before you jump that hurt. No, eh? <laughs> well, I don't want to shake that table right now mm -hmm. because it's, um, it's really relative. It, it depends on how he was brought up. But then there are some women that believe that if a man was brought up on very fresh food all the time uh, and he still expects it now that he's just been spoiled by his mom. Yeah, sometimes you know, he's been I, spoiled. I think, I think many people know? are also realizing that it's not so expensive to have a cook in your house. Not, yeah, but some men do not actually like to have cooks. They yeah. want it. They want the to, wife exactly. To do it. They want yeah. the wife to do it. Right. Do you understand? Like it's that important to them. Mm. And I also have a friend who recently complained on social media about her, you know, her dad wanting her to come over. Like she's still single, mm. so she, her dad wanted her to come over to, you know, mix because he's a freshly cooked oh, wow. meal kind of kind person. Of person. <laughs> you know, and then she just had to write an open letter subtly <laughs> to her future <laughs> husband that hey. If even you are though my dad exactly, is like even this. though my dad is like this, I'm not going to be able to do this for you because it's really not easy, you know. Even practically speaking, the amount of time it takes to take a meal from freshly cut vegetables from the market, freshly mm. blended, fresh fit, the the timing for one meal, mm. it in the end really it, it isn't logical to do that for every single meal. So maybe once every a day. day. 
is a little every single mm, meal. No, no, no. it's uh, every well, single okay. meal. It's not practical, <laughs> really. Hmm. Titi, you've not seen anything. We'll probably, <laughs> we'll probably take this conversation, right. you know. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Maybe we should do this uh, during the coffee. coffee just so that we can we can break it down properly. <laughs> yeah, but and, and we want we want people to respond on both sides, the women and the men as well. Yeah, right. Please. Let us know what you think. What what is what's your husband expecting you to cook tonight? Yeah. And is it is it fresh? Are you sure it's not toast? <laughs> <laughs> or noodles? Uh, please use our hashtag Wake Up Nigeria. But hey, it's game day. Oh yeah, so there's gonna be games today. Yes, there's gonna mm. be games today. And I hope I'm not involved in today's game. You well, are actually you actively are very involved. actively involved. Yes. You, do you need to stress on the actively? Am I the umpire? Uh, no, you're not. No. <laughs> <laughs> but don't worry, there's no bitter leaf juice today. Oh, right. Okay, so good. <laughs> We're heading to the news now and uh, Sarah's in standby. All right, let's take the news. Updated Central Bank of Nigeria for the first time since Nigeria's return to democracy may be getting a governor serving two terms in that capacity. That's if the Senate confirms President Mohamed Buhari's nomination of Godwin Emefiele for his second term. The president communicated this decision in a letter signed on Wednesday and sent to the Senate on Thursday. Emefiele was first appointed in 2014 by former president Goodluck Jonathan and was retained when President Mohamed Buhari came to office in 2015. Before assuming office of the CBN governor, the 57-year-old banker was the group managing director of Zenith Bank PLC. And the Nigeria Labour Congress is threatening to embark on a protest in Abuja on Monday. Now, NSC President Ayuba Waba disclosed that the peaceful protest is to register workers' displeasure at the violence method on its members who picketed the residence of the Labour and Employment Minister, that's Chris Ingie, on Wednesday. The NLC stated this at the end of an emergency meeting of its Central Working Committee in Abuja. Labour equally warns President Mohamed Buhari to break his silence over the status of the appointment of Frank Kokori as chairman, board of the Nigeria Social Investment Trust Fund. And the Nigerian Medical Association believes that Nigeria is heading for a catastrophic human resource health crisis. It believes this will continue if the current rate of migration of medical and dental practitioners overseas is not reversed. These concerns prompted the summoning of the Minister of Health, Isaac Adewale, by legislators of the Red Chamber over what they termed the poor state of teaching hospitals in the country. They are demanding that the health sector should account for the funds allocated to it by the federal government over the years. And President Mohamed Abouari on Thursday met with security chiefs at the presidential villa to assess the progress made in tackling the increase in the rate of crime in the country. The security chiefs reported a sharp drop in kidnapping since the setting up of Operation Puff Adder. They assured that all efforts are being made to ensure the kidnapped district head of Daura was released soon. Uh, the president charged the security chiefs to ensure that all forms of conflict were tackled effectively and citizens are free to go about their daily lives. And now tonight, Jared Islam State has claimed responsibility for a blast that rocked Baghdad's northern east, northeastern Saad City district. Police Colonel Jamal Ahmed, a parcel had been found on the side. He said a parcel had been found on the side of the road near a market and it detonated in a controlled explosion, hurting no one. Now, he said an earlier statement by the Joint Military Police Baghdad Operations Command mentioning a suicide bomb and several deaths had been released in error. The blast hit days after the start of the holy month of Ramadan when Muslims fast from dawn to sunset and tend to congregate in public places after breaking their fast. And that's the news update for this hour. Next is the weather forecast for today.
we're going to be looking at all the headlines. We, we need a, a, a sports sportswear deal at Wake Up Nigeria. Like sportswear. Yeah, 150, 135 million euros. Yeah, it sounds very, <laughs> sounds about right. Sounds about <laughs> nice for us. Uh, something we should look forward to. Anyway, uh, uh, newspaper headlines mm. this Friday. You want me to start? Yeah, oh, go ahead. Okay, all right. So I have the punch here. It says uh, PDP asks appeal court president to leave presidential poll tribunal. Says she's APC senator's elect's wife. Um, more information about that particular story on page 14 of the punch. It says bandits tax us before allowing us to access our farms, say the Northwest farmers. It says nobody living or dead can influence Supreme Court's judgment, says the acting CJN. Mixed reactions greet Buhari's renomination of Emefiele. It also says here, Dankwambo halts PDP governor's Dubai retreat. Uh, Lagos cult members kill four, dump bodies in septic tank. And finally, Ogun denies governor-elect's transition team access to facilities. That's what we have on the cover of The Punch. All right, let's check out The Vanguard. Insecurity in Secure Nigeria Now, Buhari orders security chiefs. Uh, kidnapping has reduced, says Naval Chief. Uh, IGP rolls out new counter-kidnapping strategies as security experts call for sterner measures by government. Culture central to Nigeria's unity, says Oba of Benin. MTN adds 2.1 million subscribers, uh, grows service revenue by 13.4% percent in quarter one of 2019 and uh, no human being living or dead can influence Supreme Court's judgment says uh, the acting CJN and NSITF labor issues attack on site order on Ngige wow labor can blackmail me over Kokori says Ngige and Sanusi's Emirate now covers 10 of 44 Kano local government areas. Anti graft agency quizzes aid. And Oshun governorship tussle. A delicate heads to Supreme Court as Oyetola wins at appeal court. APC PDP react. Buhari reappoints in Mefiele, CBN governor for second term. And the federal government achieves cumulative deep water output of 3.2 billion barrels. That's from the P uh, Department of Petroleum Resources there. And that's what we have on the cover of the Vanguard. All right, now moving swiftly to the Nation newspaper, we have this headline, Jubilation in Oshun over Uyetola's court victory. Appeal court voids tribunal's verdict. Governor says truth has prevailed. Adeleke, PDP for Supreme Court. Uh, PDP's boast has ended, says APC. It also says here, Ajimobi, to Makinde, be ready to deal with threats to peace. Uh, more information on page eight. Uh, meanwhile, Buhari reappoints CBN Governor Emefiele for second term. 120 doctors under probe. Quara Varsity shut over, shut over appointment of VC. Uh, Lagos police recover four bodies. And uh, it also says here, Buhari tells service chiefs to wake up. Meanwhile, Supreme Court justices answer, answerable to God, which is basically uh, uh, what we've been seeing on the other headlines, mm -hmm. uh, that mm -hmm. answerable to no man. Uh, it also says here that um, new minerals have been found in virgin areas. Uh, more information on that on page seven. That's what we have on the cover of the Nation newspaper. All right, let's check out the Tribune here. How police will now battle kidnappers, says IGP. Uh, kidnapping cases have dropped, uh, remarks uh, Chief of Naval Staff. A banditry kidnapping may affect food production by 50% in Northwest Pharmacy. Uh, corpses of four kidnapped victims discovered inside septic tank in Ikorodu. Oh, God. And uh, Oyetola wins at appeal court. Adeleke uh, heads for Supreme Court. Alleged misappropriation. Government agency quizzes Emir of Kano's aid. Buhari renominates Emefiele as CBN governor, writes Senate. That's a story that you'd find on page 10. And uh, at Awo's 32nd memorial service, defend Yoruba nation from kidnapping, terrorism. Anglican Bishop Afeniferetel Ghani Adams. Every man may have 
to find a way to defend himself, says Pastor Bakari. And uh, one of the remark here, government, government intentionally shying away from state police solution, says Adebanjo. That's what we have on the cover of the Nigerian Tribune. That's an in interesting conversation, though, the issue of state police. Yeah. Something yeah. we should talk about one of these days. Uh, it says here on the cover of the Daily Sun, <clears throat> security challenges, Buhari talks tough, orders service chiefs to arrest situation, restore confidence. Uh, it also says here, Imo House of Assembly suspends 27 local government chairmen. It says here also, President renews Emefiele's tenure. Oshun Guba Oyetola wins at Court of Appeal. PDP heads for Supreme Court. Nobody can intimidate Supreme Court justices, says the acting CJN. And finally, Oba of Benin lists gains of culture, commends NCAC boss. That's what we have on the cover of the Daily Sun. All right, so let's check out The Guardian. This is the final paper that we've got. Why Buhari reappointed Emifile as CBN governor. It's admission of something good from Jonathan government and uh, what he should do with second term by a Manufacturing Association of Nigeria and others. And Adelike rejects verdict at Oshun Guber poll, heads to Supreme Court. Judgment is vindication of truth, says Oyetola and APC. And uh, reps allege non-remittance of $900 million, that's almost $1 billion, to TSA by banks. And Kano Anti-Graft Agency opens fresh charges against Sanusi. And collapsed buildings, survivors still in agony, uncertain of their future. Okay, so uh, I think that's all we can take on the headlines in the papers. But yeah. that, I've, I've always thought about the fact that there's the, you know, in, okay, let's just use America as an example. Yeah. There's the LAPD, there's the NYPD. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, couldn't there just be the LSPD, Lagos State Police Department? Couldn't there be, you know, I've always thought about it that way. It's, uh, so with us, it's very challenging because, again, it's reverting to uh, once you start doing that, mm -hmm. I think that maybe at the federal level, they are afraid that um, every state will now be a little bit too autonomous. Okay. because they now control their own security machinery. So that's the argument that usually happens with this state yeah, police thing. Yeah, but then I, I guess, you know, uh, in, in my view, you know, the, the way, especially in Lagos, we have mm -hmm. to use Lagos as an example, the way they've taken control of, you know, emergency services and the like. No, know, I do like They I have do, taken yeah. a lot of control over that, mm -hmm. even though the federal services are still there. But it's like giving uh, the state a little bit more of an edge to make sure. Because the state, the people in the state know how to run that. State. Exactly, yeah. exactly. I, I, I actually believe that we should have state police, but it should be a phased thing. Okay. You know, so you still have the state work inside the side with the federal and then see what works, maybe over a five year period, and then mm. phase it out. Yeah, you and, never know. You know. Well, mm -hmm. hopefully that discussion will happen <laughs> soon. But uh, we have to take a quick break and we'll be back. MM will be taking traffic. Hello, hello, hello. Yes, people, it's Wake Up Nigeria. And of course, we are on to our traffic update segment on the show where we update you on the traffic situation and what's going on all around different areas in Lagos State. So I hope you're watching online. If you're not watching us right now on TV, on national TV, I hope you're watching us online. And then please would also like you to send your messages. Let us know what traffic situation, where you are right now you know, is about, you know, give us traffic updates, want to know what's going on, where you are. You could even take a traffic selfie. But what's most important is, you know, letting, let us all know what's going on around different areas of Lagos State. So I'm going to be starting from, um, so if you're in the Aja Axis and, um, you know, on your way out of Aja to the office, because I imagine that, you know, there's, you know, usually a lot of people coming from the Aja Axis to the Lekki Ekpe Expressway. Uh, well, um, the Lekki Ekpe Expressway this morning seems pretty um, free, actually. 
and um, it's free all the way, all the way. I, wow, it's pretty, that's lots freer. And then uh, where you get to the Lekki, the Chevy View Estate Peninsula, that road, there's a bit of traffic there, I imagine. And um, after that Chevy View, the Lekki, Lekki Peninsula area, it's, there's a bit of traffic. There is traffic actually, it's pretty tight. And then on your way out, approaching Lekki Phase 1, it's actually free. And then um, the Lekki Phase 1 route, Admiralty Way actually is free at this time of the day. I'm pretty, I'm very, 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 very surprised. But if you're taking the Lekki Ikoyi Link Bridge, of course you'd expect a bit of traffic here and there. Um, towards, you know, out of, um, Iko, like taking the Ileki Ikoyi link bridge towards Ikoyi, the Ikoyi access, it's a bit, it's quite free. And then um, approaching Awolowo Road, you know, that's um, body lawn uh, towards Awolowo Road. There's a bit of traffic here and there, but it's still pretty light, it's not so bad at the moment. Now, if you are on the Ozumba Mbadi Way access, uh, there's a bit of there's a bit of traffic here and there, not so not too much of it, but um, it's in cluster. So, but I assume that it's the traffic lights, you know, in those areas that's causing the you know traffic. But it's not so bad. It's pretty free in some of the areas. All right, guys. So let's look at Lagos Island because <laughs> Lagos Island, my world. Uh, it can be so busy, you know, during the weekdays. So let's see what the traffic situation over there is like. Okay, so if you're along the um, Freedom Park axis, you know, that's inward of Lagos Island, it's um, pretty free at the moment. Marina seems, you know, pretty tight here and there. That you feel, you know, clusters here and there um, on, the, on Marina Road. And then um, let's look at the Echo Bridge. That is if you're going to the island and you're on the Echo Bridge towards Akbobo. There is, um, it's quite free actually. Yes, it is. Surprisingly, it's quite free. So if you are on that axis, well, you are in for luck because you're not going to be stuck in any traffic at all. So guys, what's going on? Any updates yet on uh, Twitter? I have a few. Does anybody mm. else have it? Not yet? Okay, so I have... Let's take yours. Let's take yours Okay, first. it yeah. says uh, there's fast movement currently on a Coke bridge on route Akpokbo. So where you stopped, MM, yeah. uh, was uh, Akpokbo. Um, and you said heading that way is free. Mm. Coming this way, uh, well, coming back the other way in the opposite direction is also free. Yeah. Um, then you also have... Um, moving traffic from Fagbem's Inward Mile 2 along Oshidi Apapa Expressway. It says here, uh, Ilezik Inward Ajayi Farm on Route Ikeja along is getting busy as at 618. Mm. So uh, it's probably a little bit busier now. Cathedral on Route Falomo, presently good to go, but slight traffic at major alterations. Mm. That's uh, the major junctions there. I've got a few uh, updates here. Um, at 6.33 a.m., that's about three minutes ago, uh, Daleko inward E and Asolo currently good to go. That's very nice. Mm -hmm. And then uh, also Liverpool Road, that's in Apapa, Apapa Giari. Liverpool Road on route Eleganza, currently good to go. Uh, all this from uh, Giddy Traffic. And also um, moving traffic currently from Fagbames, Inward Mile 2 along Oshodi Apapa Expressway. That's uh, three minutes ago. So mm -hmm. it's, it, there's, a, there's traffic, but it's moving. So that's fine. And uh, finally, we've got moving traffic currently approaching Iyanaiba, uh, coming Yanaba. from Lasu Gate. Mm. So moving traffic, there's traffic, but it's moving. Okay. It's, uh, yeah, so well, yeah, it looks like. Um, Oh. There's, there's good movement this, yeah. this Friday morning. Yeah, good apparently, apparently. Good apparently. And it's a Friday, so one would expect that the traffic situation in Lagos would be pretty tight. But, on, but fortunately for a lot of us, it's actually not. So if you are at the Ojota axis right now and then you are heading towards the island, Ojota at the moment is quite free. So there are little... There's a, there are little traffics here and there, but it's not, you know, so bad. But it's pretty free all the way to Maryland. And um, yes, yeah, so all the way to Maryland and Thurney 
um, Obani Koro. It's actually free at the moment, actually. And then um, if you're taking the Obani Koro route out, you're, you know, there's a link where there's a, there's a route you could take to the third mainland bridge through Owon Shokia. Um, it's pretty free at the moment. I mean, for those of us who, you know, are looking for alternative access to the um, um, to the island. So yeah, you could actually use the Obaniko route out of Ikorodu Road to the Third Mainland Bridge. It's, pre it's actually free. And Third Mainland at the moment is quite free. Okay, so when we get to a certain area on the Third Mainland Bridge, there is tight traffic. Ooh. It's pretty tight. I can see that. Oh, my world is pretty, pretty, pretty tight. All the way to Osborne Road, there is traffic, guys. So, um, well, I hope you get enough time. I hope you have stepped out of the house if you're still yeah. at yeah. home. And I hope that you still have enough time to get to wherever you're going to. But the earlier you get out of the house, the better. All right, so at this point, I have to join the gang in the kitchen. Hello, guys. What's going on? <laughs> All right, so uh, whenever MM tells us says gang, I'm like, we're a personal gang. gang. Yeah. Yes, oh now we're a gang. You're my gang. Oh. I'm your gang. <laughs> that, was, that, that gang is relative. Uh, so uh, she, 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 she always says, "Oh my world, oh my world." Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not there. When she comes for you, I'm not there. Um, where is she? Where is she? Yeah. Going? So uh, I. There was something that made me, well, giggle, but then also made me reflect. Yeah. Um, there was an article. Yummy. Oh, hey, Emil. Uh, you see, you see now. You yeah, see, yeah. Come now. Um, so basically, Terrorist. David Beckham, <laughs> yeah. David Beckham being banned from driving for six months because he was using his phone behind the wheel. Hmm. And I was just like, I was impressed yeah. at the fact that. You know, they didn't no give him. They didn't give him a, like a slap on the wrist. Yeah, they actually, they actually banned him. Yeah, he for was actually six punished for months. Yeah. That's for someone as independent as you know, and of course financially independent. I'm going to say financially independent as David Beckham, right? I'm thinking him not being behind the wheel of one of those his Ferraris must be like Boy, it's torture. A, it's a but you know the, the thing is that that's crazy. Okay, for me it wasn't it wasn't really it wasn't surprising at all because exactly it's not they consistently especially footballers mm. they are consistently banned because because footballers have very fast cars mm -hmm. mm. so consistently so every Maybe month the or Ferraris the other and so is the footballer that's told not to drive for the next three months mm -hmm. and all that the yeah. rule of law is mm. in function over there especially in the UK exactly. so you know you don't joke with yeah but I don't know if it was, don't if it was in the UK goes. or if, if it was in the US because he has okay he's based in both countries he has a football franchise in the US mm. um, a Miami mm. team and all of that so I don't know exactly where he was when this probably, happened. it's probably the UK but yeah. in the UK they don't, they don't, routinely, they don't even in the US routinely they get they, cats, they get celebrities and they don't kid around they don't play uh, man they don't play at all who was it that ran uh, not only ran a red light, but he then also went past the toll without paying wow. in his Ferrari. Yeah. Um, oh. It was a footballer. It was, was a footballer. Was it, was it, yeah, January so it of February. happens a lot with footballers. So, so he said surprising. that he didn't know a that. A lot. You know, he was driving. <laughs> he needed to pay. He, you know, he, yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, okay. and that, ha that happened to me earlier this week. Very strange what? story. What? Yeah. So um, I was on the Lekki mm -hmm. toll, um, the toll traffic. And I'd been in there for 45 minutes, only for wow. me to be approaching the toll and then discovered I didn't have money, money oh, to pay. Wow. So what did oh, you do? No. So I just pulled up, you know, hey, wake up. <laughs> <laughs> no way. I'm not you kidding. Did it. Are you no, serious? that's what the guy said. Oh, are you serious? Are you let you he was like, you wake up. up. Are you serious? Oh. I'm, I'm okay, so and that's oh, about 300 wow. naira. 300 naira. Oh, oh, I don't I'm know. I'm not what kidding. To say. Like, <laughs> it's very, it was a very strange experience. <laughs> Because I didn't know what to do. <laughs> oh, Jeremy. <laughs> so, so, like, oh, so are you planning to go back there and, like, maybe. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to look for it. I actually something. looked, when I went yesterday, yeah. I looked out for the guy who was. Why did you ask both for his ways. name? Uh, you were excited. I was too shocked. Like, oh, <laughs> no, no, I was too shocked. He just, he just said, he just kept you know. doing this. Oh, okay. That oh. I should move. And oh. my window was up. So, it was just. He didn't very want you to. You it was a very confusing experience. Because I was about to tell him that. Bros. <laughs> <laughs> you okay. know, as it is so now, eh? <laughs> we'll know who this for back. You know, we love Lagos. <laughs> <laughs> See, me and you are walking towards a greater Lagos. Oh, goodness. Uh, you know? yeah. Okay, but there's an experience was strange that experience. made me feel somehow very recently. That was like some few days, few weeks back. And this had to do with the courier company. So I placed an order that they should deliver some 
items, perishable items. So he had to come in that day, right? So that day, um, they went there to pick it up. It was from Aja, you know. It was from the island to the mainland and all of that. So they went to pick it up. And I was like, okay. So the, uh, like, okay, so and something happened at about 10 o'clock, 10 p.m. Mm. Wow. They hadn't arrived. And this was a perishable item. Wow. And so I called the dispatch. The dispatch said he had dropped it at the office and somebody else was supposed to pick it and bring it back. Uh -uh. And then the office had, had, had closed. Mm. Wow. What? I just called the lady. I, okay, I didn't call her. It was, uh. I was Twitter uh, keypad warrior. If you guys don't bring that thing back, uh, I was wrecking. Uh, I will, I will uh, call you guys out on Twitter. Uh, I see, uh, no. That was so, what you did. Like really, I went that far. I was like, look, see, you don't know who I am, oh. <laughs> Very, very. I was, oh, I was, really I was out of the way. I went. No, no, you I can went, be very I, upset. I, I, I really, I really went too far. You can yeah. be very so I was like, upsetting. Look, look, look. See, I'm a TV presenter. I will just call you on TV. Oh my God, actually, so, really. No, no, see, let me see, let me say something here. There's, there's an attitude we have as Nigerians. Most yeah. times, if you yeah. don't maybe show a part of yourself. Yeah. And yeah. she was about to let that thing go and it, it would yeah. have perished. Wow. So but when I went as far as, look, I will call you out, I will do this, I will do this, I felt bad, yeah? Yep. yeah. But I went to the particular resort, but I was angry. Did it work? They got it, like, yes, they somebody did, went, they went to they pick up, it. they went to pick up a, like, she went with her car, wow. she came, she got there by eight, like 12. So, but this is the part that got to me. Yeah. And so after everything, after all my Ricky, I find her, I'm about to pay. And she says, don't worry. Ah! Oh. Uh, Ah! <laughs> I, I lost. I was lost for words. So, so I was like, <laughs> guy. Okay, <you> know, <laughs> like, so she heaped coals of fire on my head. I felt yeah. bad. Yeah. Like, Why I really do felt we bad. have? Uh, <laughs> well, usually a abroad, abroad. Yeah. If, if your delivery is late, you, you don't, don't get pay. charged. Even your pizza. Yes. Uh, yes, if your delivery is... Yeah, that, yeah, but we're not used happens. to it, so I feel well, bad. Yeah. No, yeah. What, what I thought you Ricky. What I was even going to say was, um, is why does it have to get to the point where mm. you have to threaten all yeah. you know, yeah. before yeah. people actually go then to, move, to then exactly go the do mile. what you do, what you mm -hmm. need them to, or what they mm -hmm. should do. It's not right. Like, you know you should do something, go ahead and do it. I'm in a similar situation with you know, my sales girl. Mm. Do you understand? Mm. So right now, I'm calm, I'm quiet, I'm not saying anything. The girl is relaxed. But <laughs> the you... plans that I have for her... <laughs> when you enter Kalisi mode... Mm. They are good enough. They are good King's and Kingsland, they will come down. Yes, they are. <laughs> they I would good never plans. want to be on MM's bad side. That's one King's thing. King's will come down, B. But we have to take a quick break now while we anticipate MM's wrath. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back shortly. <laughs> Comedy in Nigeria has grown from drama series to stand-up comedy. You're moving too fast. Too fast. When are they buying clothes for you? Not complain on my speed. When they do your hair, not complain on my speed. Now you want my cash break. My break does spoil. To social media skits. And what is this? By this Instagram, I want to tell them I love you. Come on, come on, get out of here. You can't even call me, Papa. Go and watch the place. It's just a but what has remained constant is that Nigerian comedians continue to build a thriving industry out of little. If you love me, you must give me Ferrari. Short video. Is that bush? I want to ask. Ferrari in a vegetable. Consumers have come to embrace Nigerian comedy as preferred entertainment content causing revenues to grow up to the billion naira mark in past years and its influence on music, movies, public relations and advertising cannot be underestimated. What? The industry hosts its third annual Eco Comedy Festival, EcoFest, at the Musan Center Unicorn Lagos. This year's theme is the future of Nigerian comedy. As described by the convener, Ace comedian Babatunde Adewale, popularly known as TA, this is a much needed platform to discuss the past, present, and future issues relating to the growth of comedy industry in Nigeria. Uh, the Nigerian comedy industry has evolved uh, over the past 20 to 30 years, and uh, we believe that it can only get better. Uh, the reception, even from the audience, is, has gotten much better. We are able to fill bigger venues 
than we used to. So I'm very optimistic that uh, we, we have quite a very bright future ahead, but we need to put certain things, things in place to be able to, uh, to maximize the potentials that we see in the future. Speaking at the event, Yinka Adebayo, the keynote speaker, outlined how the industry has grown over the years and he alighted positioning as the key factor that can take Nigerian comedy to the next level. So if only government knows what this sector is doing to Nigerians, I need them to keep their sanity intact. Everybody is pressured. I'm a brand person and I know what the passion point of Nigerians are. Anything that has to do with fun, with comedy, which that gives them happiness, they always have it to be there. So naturally as a brand person, I need to gratify to where the brands are. So that's why I mentioned today that even when the comedy don't come to me, there are a couple of them have actually gone to and we've done good businesses together and it really get better because really ultimately it all is all about promoting the brands and they have a kind of like strong content, strong assets that my brands can leverage to reach out to the audience and that's the attraction for me. So when I'm giving the opportunity to, to speak with them on the future of the comedy, I think it's a good opportunity for me to give them feedback that I've actually been nursing and actually been harboring for long. And I think I've done justice to that to the best of my ability. Other speakers took turns to make contributions and ask questions that are germane to the growth of comedians in the country. So just to grab up, I don't think um, the lifespan of these comedians is short. I think what is happening to a lot of one, the Instagram algorithm has changed. Some of you should know. I mean, I know one or two things, but sitting in the hall now listening to the keynote speaker. I mean, I, I gained another three or four things that are very, that I believe are very crucial to what we do. So one must keep on learning. And so when we have a comedy based platform that isn't about entertainment, but about learning, I mean, that's it's just amazing and is very, very commendable and encouraging. We need to, uh, to get in bed more with corporate Nigeria, let them see the value that comedy in Nigeria is uh, is uh, is capable of bringing to different brands. A couple of brands have been supportive uh, over the years, not uh, not just for individuals but for the industry. They've been supporting the industry over the years. So I think that uh, you know those are the those are the steps that we need to 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 take to get to where we really want to go in terms of comedy development in Nigeria. With this development. It is clear that there are greater opportunities waiting to be our nest in the Nigerian comedy industry. It's been 60 minutes down and we've got, uh, let's say about uh, 105 more minutes to go. 60 and 45. It's kind of, uh, measurement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. kind of measurement. Of course, it's still your feel-good breakfast show, Wake Up Nigeria. Indeed, yeah, of course, uh, the line is engaging yeah. and uh, promises to be worth while wow. you should stick around with us mm. uh, in any way and so that you don't miss out on anything. My name is Yomi Oruping. And I am Mike Mesikeno. We're streaming live at tvcontinental.tv and on Facebook at TVC Connect. Now, a lot of people always ask for this question, so mm. get it out. We always say this every day. TVC, uh, tvcontinental.tv, Facebook, that's where you can watch us live anywhere around the world and also our app. You can our also app. download yeah. the so app and Download watch our us. app on uh, Google Play Store. Apple, Apple iStore, iOS, yeah. just uh, let us know. Of course, whenever you want to drop a comment, use the hashtag WakeUpNigeria. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay, so let's get straight to it. This morning, the package chef, nobody does this, this guy. Packaging. No, no, but let's be, he's about the most package, about the most package chef we've had on the show. About. Chef V, Chef, chef v. v. He, know, he knows how to do He knows it. how to do this thing. Chef V, how you doing? And it looks like he's been going Hello, to the guys. gym. Hello, guys. He's been going to the everyone. gym recently. Yes, you are probably looking for me too. <laughs> You know, wondering why are these two hard faces looking at me this early in the morning? <laughs> why? Don't worry, I'm Who's here. Who's a hard I'm face? Here. I don't, I don't I'm here. here. I know don't what worry. I was doing here this morning. But I'm here with Chef V, yo. Chef V with the packaging. Packaging. And we're going to be cooking something sweeter than ever cooked before on Wake Up Nigeria. Yes. 
Chavis, Chavis is always cool and calm. As in, <laughs> too cool, always, too cool, always. almost too cool. <laughs> Almost too cool. Anyway, so let's go straight to uh, this morning's highlights. Everything that we have for you. Falake Okunai is the CEO of Bell Signature. And she will be joining us uh, for our fashion segment this morning. Mm. We're talking about uh, headpieces, headpieces that were inspired by the Met Gala. Whoa, I'd love to see that one. And for the love of football, I will be taking a preview of some of the EPL matches slated for this weekend with Sam Adeyemi. And of course, uh, a live performance with Terry Akili. Terry got a life-changing call from Wizkid, who expressed interest in signing him up to Starboy Entertainment. And he's going to, uh, has remained with Starboy since. Yeah. And uh, looking forward to what he's been up to recently. Yep. And check it out, for a dance performance, we have uh, a couple of dancers joining us uh, from ND's Performing Arts Academy. Uh, the Academy was created for dance, music, and theater, and they will be staging a performance for us later on on the show. Our last guest of the day came into limelight in 2008 and is now one of Nollywood's finest uh, actors. Nse Ikbe Etim will be joining us later on the show. Send text message. Not be on to peace. <laughs> now toilets are going to go the same text message. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> but I do wow. know. Oh, okay. I, don't, I, I love Bollywood. Eh? When we start that, is it? We go about. We go about. You know something usually happens <laughs> when. So I don't really watch Nollywood films. I do you know, when I go to the cinema when there's like a premiere or, any, or something like that. And you know, sometimes when they're really good ones, I do watch them. Yeah. Uh, but sometimes when I go to my father-in-law's house. Yeah. So this is how it happens. So initially. <laughs> Maybe they're on African Magic Yoruba or something like that. So they're watching, <laughs> we're watching Yoruba films. And then, so I'm not, initially, I'm not interested. But after a while, you just want to know how it ends. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, be asking, eh, so who is this one? Eh, okay, so what's, what's going to happen next? You just discover that you're just yeah, a part exactly. of it. You're part of the group, fun right? at the end of the day, yeah. It's, that's what happens. It, it was the same thing to me. There's a particular movie that was out for a very long while. I had not seen it and I had the movie I didn't want to see, but then I got to my um, my sister, my in-law and sister, and they, they so they were watching it and I had to see that, I had to watch. Uh, well, I found myself smiling. Like, and, and I thought, Mike, you're actually smiling at this yeah. movie. I'm like, ah, he had some very good points. Yeah. Everybody, he it, 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 it got a lot of flack online, but he had some good points. I enjoyed that. Ah, I see this guy, nonsense. It was, it was, the it was cool. The industry actually is, um, uh, it's quite an interesting one. And their movies, though, they, they, there's always something about the script that keeps you, you know, glued. Mm. Yeah. Even do, though you do not intend to. Because at first you're like, mm -mm. But then eventually, yeah. the, it's, the story is quite, it becomes gripping, it becomes intriguing. Yeah. You want to know what's going to happen. You, yes, you will, so you will want to see do, the end of it. See the what end. I, what see I the feel end. like they do is they make you connect with the character, even though it's, it's not really about the visuals. It's not about whether they look fine or not it's mm. about the story around the character yeah you they can really always build with the story exactly actually. they the actually really relatable. build characters yeah. and, and i did like uh, was, yeah, okay. go ahead. yeah i was gonna say the the first move nigerian movies that i have ever watched and remember till now um was called owo blue uh, does anybody remember oh, yeah, owo yeah, yeah, yeah. oh that was Oblo, an excellent story one yeah. two and three at that time this will be long ago they have like, plenty parts. So, so that ah. I can still remember and everything was, uh, in that Sha film. Shauroi there. Shauroi there. And, and, and so many. Okay, but no, those ones. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, you know, I would Koto love Aye. to watch Owo Blow again. If Koto somebody Aye. could find it for me. Uh, you know, Please. Ayama Tanga. Oh, all those ones there. That's that we still know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's head over to the news update now. <laughs> All right, let's take the news update. The Central Bank of Nigeria, for the first time since Nigeria's return to democracy, may be getting a governor serving two terms in net capacity. And that's if the Senate confirms President Mohamed Abouar's nomination of Godwin Emefiele for a second term. The president communicated his decision in a letter signed on Wednesday and sent to the Senate on Thursday. Emefiele was first appointed in 2014 by former President Gulag Jonathan and was retained when President Buhari came to office in 2015. Before assuming office of the CBN governor, the 57-year-old banker was the group managing director of Zenith Bank PLC. And President Mohamed Buhari on Thursday met, 
met with security chiefs at the presidential villa to assess the progress made in tackling the increase in the rate of crime in the country. The security chiefs reported a sharp drop in a kidnapping since the setting up of Operation Puff Adder. They assured that all efforts are being made to ensure the kidnapped district head of Dara is released soon. Uh, the president charged the security chiefs to ensure that all forms of conflicts are tackled effectively and citizens can go about their daily activities. And the launch of Operation Puff Ada in Ogun State has yielded started yielding results and the Commissioner of Police in the state, Bashir Makama, has paraded more than 70 suspects and confirmed that the operation is getting the desired results. The suspects were arrested for various crimes, including cultism, armed robbery and impersonation. The Commissioner identified cultism, ritual killings and kidnapping as some of the major problems confronting residents and confirmed that the command is getting uh, what, you know, what the Operation Puff Adder was scheduled to achieve. And now the Police Commissioner, however, commended residents for proving necessary and useful information, for providing necessary and useful information to the force. Now, the Nigerian Medical Association believes that Nigeria is heading for a catastrophic human resource health crisis. It believes this will continue if the current rate <coughs> of migration of medical and dental practitioners overseas is not reversed. These concerns prompted the summoning of the Minister of Health, Isaac Adewale, by legislators of the Red Chamber over what they term the poor state of teaching hospitals in the country. They are demanding that the health sector should account for the funds allocated to it by the federal government over the years. And out of Nigeria, President Cyril Ramaphosa is set to be elected for a second term in office. This is as results declared in some districts in the country show that this party, the African National Congress, is leading. With results announced in some 70% of districts, the ANC has won about 57% of the ballot, well ahead of the opposition Democratic Alliance, the DA, on 22%. The ANC took 62% at the last general election in 2014. Anger over the economy and corruption may have eroded its appeal, and the radical economic freedom fighters in, is in third place with 10% based on the official early results. The United States has seized a North Korean cargo ship alleging sanctions violation by the country. The seizure is likely to heighten tensions between the two countries at a time when U.S. efforts to dissuade North Korea from pursuing its nuclear weapons program are stalled following the failure of the Hanoi summit in February. According to the Justice Department, the ship was used to haul a valuable coal from North Korea that was sold in other countries, including China. The U.S. and the United Nations have said that North Korea has used illicit sales of its coal to fund the country's nuclear weapons and ballistic missiles program. An Islam state has claimed responsibility for a blast that rocked Baghdad's northeastern city district on Thursday. Police Colonel Jamal Ahmed said a parcel had been found on the side of the road near a market and it detonated in a controlled expl explosion, hurting no one. He said an earlier statement by the Joint Military Police Baghdad Operations Command mentioning a suicide bomb and several deaths had been released in error. The blast hit days after the start of the holy month of Ramadan when Muslim faithfuls fast from dawn to sunset and tend to congregate in public places after breaking their fast. And that's the news update for this hour. Let's bring you the weather forecast for today. <laughs> welcome back, uh, Chef V. Welcome. Thank you very it's much. It's like you went uh, far and wide and came back home. Yeah, mm. I had to go do some exploring. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Okay. <laughs> well, in the kitchen today, we have a very colorful spread. Of course. A very healthy looking spread, I have to say. 
All right, so what are we making today? So today we're making um, veggies, uh, egg and veggie sauce with pancakes. Yeah, that's what Egg and today. veggie sauce with pancakes. With pancakes. Yeah. So I know that a lot of people um, see pancakes as a sweet kind of food, yeah. but you're adding it to a savory dish. Yeah. Is this something you've done, you know, many times uh, before? Well, you know, one thing about food is for you to be able to explore, mm. be able to weigh different options and see what you can come up with. Mm -hmm. So usually people have um, pancakes with. Mm. Um, say um, coffee or that yeah. so i'm deciding to use veggies this time all right because i think veggies give a kick to meals all right fantastic so i think I'll it's about it. time for us to go over the ingredients we have here on the counter you know because they're brand new ingredients okay they're looking fresh and colorful in so our eyes so we have Please uh talk to us. we have our bell peppers okay we have our lettuce we have our spring onion we have our tomatoes we have our egg, carrots, cucumber. We have our um, garlic. Okay. We have our crushed chili. And then we have our seasoning and salt. Okay, so this garlic that you pointed to doesn't yeah, look like garlic to me. It what? is. <laughs> so it's garlic yeah. powder? Garlic powder, yeah. So do you make that or you bought it off the uh, shop? I, I, bought, I bought it off from um, oh, this a shop, yeah. Oh, okay, a shop, all chili. right. Then. So mm. what type of uh, pepper is this? That's ch um, crushed chilies. It's chili pepper, but it's crushed. So it's no, it's not grounded. Okay. Yeah. What's the difference between grounded and crushed in terms uh, of flavor? Uh, basi food? Basically, I think it's, it's about texture. Mm. Um, some meals you need to use like um, gr grounded chili, mm -hmm. while some meals you use um, crushed chili. Mm -hmm. So it's the same flavor but just texture. I feel it's like different. we need to get to work. We need yeah. to start doing something. So what are we doing first? We'll, we'll cut veggies first. Which one? Which one? Uh, let's start with this. All right, bell peppers. Yeah, bell peppers. Is there any particular way you're cutting this? That's because you know I like to just scatter vegetables. You know, with my knife. Um, just <laughs> first of when it comes to food, your eye feeds first before okay. you, before your mouth. Mm -hmm. So usually the way you cut your veggies is how your meal turn and your meal turns out. If you're cutting it, um, don't, in, don't let me distract you. Keep going, keep going. If you're cutting it in uniform way, then obviously what you're going to end up with is something you won't like. Okay. So we're going to take off this white. Mm. If you don't take this off, you're going to have a very bitter taste. Taste, yeah. So, so the, that white this. part on the inside. Yeah, you take it off. For real? Yeah. Somebody told me that was the the amphani of the <laughs> of the pepe. You know, that's the that's the better thing inside the pepe. You know, that's what they say. <laughs> and I think it adds some kind of um, spice to it as well. But the, I guess the, it's not something you yeah, need for this dip, dish. Depend on, on the dish you're making. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So we don't want it to have that um, bitter taste. All right. All right. Let me take this away. So three colors of pepper. Why? Why three colors? Because you, you want to have that colorful feel, rainbow feel. You know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Can you see this? The style he's using to cut that center out. I don't know if I could get it that neat of and course, tidy. Of course you can. Mm -hmm. You can. Really? It's, it's just in the mind. <laughs> okay, so I know a lot of people use uh, smaller knives for this kind of thing, but you're using a large knife. Is it easier for you to use uh, a large knife? Or? Well, uh, as a chef, uh, I've, I've come to learn how to use lots of knives. Mm. So for this, I don't, have, I don't have a problem using this to remove mm. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's also looks very scary <laughs> that that sharp knife is so close to your palm. I guess so that's don't try it at home if you don't know how to do it. <laughs> yeah, before. exactly. Exactly. Please don't. <laughs> the very sharp knives from Homely NG. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> okay, so while you're doing that, can we talk about <clears throat> the other veggies while you're, while you're working on that? So I'm a big fan of carrots, uh, cucumber, and tomato. But... When you said sauce, usually in sauces, I don't really see cucumbers. Yeah, I'm, I'm using the cucumber for garnishing. Fabulous. Yeah, so. Okay, garnishing. Great, great, great. And sometimes when you see tomatoes, you think uh, blender. <laughs> Are you blending these tomatoes? You know, actually, I actually love raw, eating raw tomatoes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like when, when, I, when, I, when, I, when I have it in, in a salad, mm -hmm. it, it tastes really nice. Okay. But most people can't deal with it. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I actually like tomatoes myself. I even like tomato juice. Uh, some people, some people really just don't like tomato juice, but I've always liked it. It has this very sour, edgy taste. Yeah. 
And there's this cocktail um, that they make with it. Bloody Mary. Yes. <laughs> that is a nice cocktail. Yeah, really nice. Okay, so Maybe I, sh I should make that for you someday. Please, please, <laughs> I wouldn't mind at all, seriously. But um, I know that we have to head over to MM now. She has the CEO of Bell Signature on standby. Now they're going to be showing us some Met Gala inspired headpieces. Thank you very much, Titi. All right, as we all know earlier on this week, the Met Gala was in full swing and we saw, you know, celebrities come out to adorn beautiful, elaborate hair pieces. And who said this can only happen in Yankee? Abby? <laughs> right? <laughs> no, it's not All possible. right, so Fola Kunaya is the CEO of Bell Signatures and she's a milliner. And of course, she's also, she also, you know, heads, you know, a training school for milliners and school acquis skill acquisition. And this morning, she'll be displaying a collection of hair pieces whose creation was inspired by the Mets Gala. Hi, Hello, Belle. Mem, Mem. Yeah, I know. I like to call you Belle. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, nice. uh, for like, uh, let's talk about you know because some of the hair pieces you have here uh, were actually like these are like replicas of some of the hair pieces yeah. we saw on the Mets Gala. Yeah. So let's talk about this one because this. I can imagine the kind of work that went into it. And that's a lot of work. I know, right? It's a lot of work. To actually even get these um, glitters on, on the, um, the stakes is yeah. really, really, like it was a long process. I had to try different things and all. Nigerians are actually very creative. Okay. I spoke to some of my um, colleagues in the business, like well, I'm trying to get some stuff like this and they were all out like, oh yeah, you have to get out, oh, do this, do this, do this. Okay. And Nigerians can actually, like we can, we can be, on top, if on you want top, to. Right. <laughs> I'm really liking this. So, okay, so there's a particular, um, Celine John had something um, very close to, to this. this. Yes, yeah. but hers were, were, you know, gold plated, of course, with, you know, shimmers. With more and feathers. Glitters. Yeah, with more feathers as well. So imagine, so I see what you did here with the butterflies, which is really, really, really nice. What inspired the butterflies, though? Um, well, I just wanted it to pop. I didn't want it to be just one thing that you can wear on a particular, like you're wearing a black dress. Yeah. This can fit in if you want it to pop and all. Okay. Um, it depends on the client though. All right. So let's quickly move on to this one. I really, really like this one. I know I definitely saw this on the red carpet at the Met Gala. So quickly tell us what inspired this one. Um, I'm loving the feathers though. Well, I, I know people like um, feathers. Mm. Now it's like the season of feathers. You see some of the... Um, um, actresses were having, you know, veils and shawls yes. of feathers yeah, and all. Cape, yeah. So I, I thought that that would be nice to like do something aside of the cape. You can also have it in your fascinator, like yeah. well and all. And the brooch there is just to complement the you know, entire. Into, so I can pop out a little bit. All right, fantastic, great. All right, so let's quickly look at this one. Oh, okay. I'm so sorry. It fell off. I just have to pick this up. Yeah, I actually really like this. Let's talk about this quickly. Um, well, this very can, simple though. Yeah, very simple. Ver very simple. Yeah. This can actually like we have this Calabar Festival stuff. Oh. And all, so like this can actually work for something like that. Mm -hmm. And um, for someone that doesn't like anything too dramatic, yeah. but still you still want to be over the top a little bit. Yeah, you can have something like this. All right, fantastic. I'm really liking these hair pieces and. We know very much that after the Met Gala, there are so many events that happen in Lagos that are always Met Gala themed. So people have an idea of where to get their hair pieces and they know that they can very much find, you know, whatever hair pieces Definitely. they're actually looking Definitely. for here in Nigeria. Definitely. Thank you so much, Bill. It's Thanks always a pleasure having you. And you're <laughs> always like, always here for us. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. All right. There's so much more happening here at Wake Up Nigeria, guys. Do not go anywhere. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Uh, we have our e weekly EPL preview and this morning I've got Sam Ademi. It's always a pleasure having you, Sam. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. The final week of the English Premier League. It all comes down to this. And uh, it's been quite a while. Of course, last time was in 2012 with Manchester City where the title went down to the final day. Yes. But this year, it is going to go down to the final day. What are your expectations for the final match day of the EPL? Okay, I'm not expecting any surprises. Uh, we already yeah. know... Uh, because when you look at both games, the two key games are uh, Wolves, Liverpool, and then uh, Brighton. Brighton uh, City. against Manchester City. And then you feel, okay, it should be a win for both teams. So 
I think a City win also. But I mean, but considering what we've seen in the Champions League and the, uh, the Europa League over the past week, we'll get back to how uh, much dominant <laughs> EPL is. But don't you? I mean, there should be some. We should expect some surprises. I, I want. I want to expect a surprise or two somewhere. I would want to. I would love to say that. Uh, <laughs> like the, you mentioned, the Champions League, we hmm. it surprised every one of us. But this is it. this is what. Uh, City has been waiting for, this is what Liverpool has been waiting for. Far back in March, uh, Guardiola mentioned this. Uh, immediately, uh, Everton, uh, Liverpool drew Everton. It was mm. like, all they needed to win is to win their last, their last all, all game. their games. And mm. that's what they've been doing. 40 at, straight yes. wins right now. And then that's true. They get Let's look at the, this, um, the fixtures so. that are showing now. Brighton will be up against Manchester City. That's the one you were talking about now. You think a win for Manchester City. So win. Uh, Brighton have a very bad record against the defending champion. Okay. Uh, they've not been able to win any of their last game against okay. the Finnish champion in 11. Uh, right. Nine losses and then two draws. So this wow. is it. All right. So uh, other matches now, a lot has been settled, but then Burnley will be up against Arsenal. Does Arsenal stand a chance? Yes, yes. Uh, uh, to, get, to, to get up to that fourth position or, in the, or it, it, it's gone for them? They actually did uh, toss them to toss mess them up. to lose, to lose and then them. they win. Yeah. That's so it's, and it, they have to win with By, a bell. At yeah, least, and there's uh, four, an eight goal swing. Eight goals, yes. So eight goals swing going both ways. But against Burnley, uh, they could get a win. But Arsenal uh, away from is this season has been very bad. Very bad. Very but in the, but bad. except in the Europa League, the Europa League, they beat Napoli away. They just beat Valencia away. Yes. Yeah, so, so, but in the league, <laughs> in the league, it's, it's been a bad so one for them. Uh, they've gone. They had just one clean sheet all season. All season one away. One clean sheet away, which was even against them and Watford. Uh, this is it. Uh, Against Burnley, they can get a win. Uh, okay. But I'm looking at Peter Crouch scoring in that game. I just don't know why, <laughs> why I feel the crush. The crowd, I just okay. feel it should score. That would be an interesting one. Okay, other, matches, um, other matches that would uh, hold uh, this weekend also, we're going to have Leicester against Chelsea. Leicester, I expected Chelsea. Leicester to do something against Manchester City last time. It was quite, it was quite very close. tight. Yeah, it was yeah, close. It was close. Uh, against Chelsea... I think last time I guess something. Hmm. And uh, Jamie Vardy always loves to play the big six. See that Chelsea it, has already, they, they, the, their top four spots already set in. Yes, but they, they might still want to keep uh, getting into the third spot because I have hmm. more money for you depending on your league uh, finishing. Uh, league finishing, uh, so exactly. It, it, it's, it's still a, it, that's the one. And, uh, Mexico, should I, should I, should I, maybe I should <laughs> just let you know this. Okay. Last time I was here, yeah. This was the same thing I said. Exactly. The top four, exactly. And that's what we're having right now. Exactly. You said so. You did You did mention that. All right. So, uh, moving on from that, we're going to have uh, Liverpool against Wolves. We're talking about that one. You expect a win for them? I expect a win. Uh, Wolves have been very stubborn, but the reverse leg, it was a it good was win for nil. them. Uh, it, it, it was a 2 0 uh, Van Dijk and uh, yeah. Mo Salah scoring that. So it, and then, before they got uh, the revenge in the FA Cup uh, by defeating uh, Liverpool 2 goes to 1, this one. Liverpool has been scoring a lot of goals, but what you can, in the last five games, uh, Liverpool have kept two clean sheets. So uh, it, it's kind of, mm. maybe they might get a goal. I'm talking about uh, Wolves here, but I think Liverpool will win this. They All right. And then, okay, uh, moving on to that, the other, uh, looking at the table, a lot has been settled. We already have the three relegated teams. We already have uh, the top three teams, maybe even but four. We can Europa go League as far. Yeah. Exactly. And then Europa League sports. Now, yes. the dominance, let's look at um, the, in, in, in Europe. We have the four, four teams, the four finalists are all from EPL. What does that say about the English Premier League? I, I am one of the few persons that I always think uh, English, uh, the Premier League is overrated. Uh, that I think <laughs> it's overrated. Just before you get into that, look at the table now. It shows that now, this, might, this is probably what will happen. Liverpool might probably end with 97 points and not win the league. Yes, and that would be... The highest number of points for any team that hasn't won the league this in is over the 20 years. In fact, over since the Premier League Premier started, started in 91. This is the first time in a season that two teams will go above 90 points. Yes. In one season. Uh, I the, mean, the closest we have to be City winning in other points last season. Last season. And every season before that, Liverpool would have won the league. But I mean, that's what we're I mean, look at them. now. So City will probably end the season with 98 points. So that dominance from last season is about is still apparent here. But Liverpool... I, I kudos to Liverpool. They gave City a run for their money. They've given them so far a run for their money. Yes, and it will be so disheartening if Liverpool ends <laughs> up <so laughs> not winning anything. It will be so okay. disheartening because they've played their heart out. You look at the, uh, the Van Dijk, um, 
stability in the center of the defense. The defense. And the fullbacks are uh, Robertson and, uh, Alex and uh, Alex Trent Alexander Arnold. Arnold. It's, it's been good for them. Vinadom, Mina, everyone has contributed they something. Have. But they need to get. They, they, are, they at need least to meet up. And I think they would. So back to, the, <laughs> back to uh, Europe now. We have Liverpool up against Tottenham in the Champions League final. And then in the Europa League final, we're going to have Chelsea up against Arsenal. England is on top. Okay, so <laughs> I've said this before and I'll say it again. This is Arsenal's league, uh, Europa League. Not because okay. of anything. Just because of Una Emery, I mm. think he has mastered this. Uh, the, this that tournament. competition, he, he, he understands it better than anyone. He speaks it thrice consecutively. Yeah, with Sevilla, and right now he defeated his former team Valencia. Valencia, the, yeah. Uh, this is it. Chelsea, Arsenal. You look at their Premier League games. Arsenal were the best team over both legs, even though they lost the first leg, three goes to two second leg. Uh, okay. They got a win too. But and then the fact that it's a Europa League, and uh, okay, just find out what just. No, an analysis. Uh, Liverpool, Tottenham, who would you go for? Okay, Tottenham. <laughs> <laughs> I would go for Liverpool, but then thank you very much, Sam. The EPL is dominating. Uh, let's see, we'll probably have one more talk at the end uh, next week about how the final round of matches are played. Let's head over to Yomi. Yomi has uh, someone quite interesting uh, for us. Uh, we have a performance. Oh, not Yomi, but MM. Hello, MM. Thank you very much, Mike. Oh. Having some feel-good music on a Friday morning. I'm really, really loving it. All right, so Bosu is an alternative music artist who's been doing this for four years. And this morning he'll be performing to his recent single, CD. And he tells me that CD is a true life story. So tell me about this girl, this folk tale story of yours. I'm very excited to hear about it. Okay, um, see this, um, you know this issue between couples? Yeah, between couples. Yeah, so yeah. this one went really bad. Yeah. yeah. It was something I was watching from afar, so I was just inspired to write a song. About this, CD? And, yeah, yeah, and then you, of all names, you picked CD? Yes, yeah, the, the lady's name is not CD, but okay. I wanted something, you know, to, I wanted to sound artistic. Okay, yeah, something that, you know, relates to yes. the kind of genre of music that yes, you play. All right, so quickly, let's talk about, you know, the ex... So as, you've been doing this for four years. Yes. The expected results that you've been expecting from your, you know, fans, yes. is it what you want? Is it, has it reached expectations so far? Well, I'll say it has and it hasn't but the real issue is like my fans keep asking when are you dropping um, your, like, single. your single okay. are you? though we have other singles but which we didn't promote because the type of recording we had wasn't something we wanted okay. we, it, we are still looking for that wow factor which All we haven't right. gotten yet and i'm sure cd has that wow factor that you're looking Definitely. for yeah so i'm just going to let you get to it and entertain us this okay. morning take it away are we good to go So my fellow uncle, I knew your love should be. Sailor, 
Here in the Wake Up Nigeria kitchen, Chef V has been hard at work chopping and 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 chopping. chopping, and chopping, and chopping. We're making something special today. He's making a really nice pancake vegetable sauce, and, sauce, and yeah. uh, we have pancake batter on standby here. We have four eggs. I'm pouring the four eggs in here on his behalf while he continues the chopping process. But uh, I wasn't sure how much milk he wanted in this, so, so you, you can just pour all, so we'll make it. Fluffy. All the milk, a whole can of evaporated milk. Ah, ah. See decadence. Let's go. And I don't think I've ever done that before. <laughs> a whole can of milk in one meal. Okay, so I'm going to act like I've never done pancakes before and just ask, am I supposed to put the butter in here? Yeah, you are. Really? Mm -hmm. Butter inside pancake? Yeah, sure. Oh, okay, okay. Whatever yeah. you say, chef. We'll get, we'll get. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you going to do to these veggies? We're going to um, saute them. Saute in yeah. ordinary vegetable oil. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so that's what? A pinch of salt? A pinch of salt, yeah. I thought you were going to do salt bay. <laughs> uh, well, salt, uh, um, dried pepper. Okay. What's next? What's next? Okay. I forgot then, what you called that one. That was garlic, right? Yeah, this garlic. Please don't tell me for? you're not no, putting garlic no, no, in the pancakes. No, no. Okay. So now we we'll, we'll turn it. Okay, so yeah. what do I use? To, okay, let me find something to turn yeah, it with. Okay. Aha! All right, I'm turning to a whisking hex part. Let's go. All right, so um, the sorting process for me is, you know, I just feel like just dunk everything in the pan. But for those that are just tuning in, what are those ingredients you have on that chopping okay. board? So we have our, our spring onion, our bell peppers, our tomatoes, yeah. and carrots. Okay. You can see how finely diced it ah, is. Because you want, you want the end of the meal looking All right. like really so, nice. So uh, what we're talking about is this, yeah, finely chopped vegetables, all colorful and finely sliced. I'm not a big fan of spring onions, but you know, I'm watching you, I'm watching you. So is it time for us to put the oil in there? Yeah, the oil is inside now. I just, Let me. I just poured a little. Okay, so um, this flour was about uh, three or four cups, if I'm right. 
yeah. of flour with four eggs. Uh, you put in a pinch of salt. You also put in. You also put in some butter. Okay, so yeah, so you're going to add. Okay, okay. so I guess um. Okay, for here, what, what we'll do here is um, we'll put our spring onion. He's he's on the cooker now with uh, spring onions and yeah. oil. Spring onions. Yeah. You make sure you're using very low. Low fire. Low flame. Okay. First. Spring onions first. First, yeah. Okay. Then what's next? And then the tomatoes. All right. All right. So after that, we put in the carrots, Carrot, right? Yeah. Okay. And then I will start working the flour. But uh, while all this is happening, there's still so much more happening in the studio. Mike is about to tell us where we're going this weekend when it comes to movies. Mike, it's all yours. All right, this weekend, uh, we're just taking one movie you can check out in the cinema, Heaven's Hell, a psychological drama produced and directed by Katung Aduak, inspired by a true story. It tells the story of two housewives whose uh, bond of friendship seems unbreakable, but is filled with deceit and betrayal in the midst of darkness that hovers above their relationships with their spouses. It stars an enviable ensemble of actors, including Nse Ikbe Etim, Bimbo Akintola, Osu, KJ, amongst others. We haven't said later, we're going to be talking to her, but then let's check out the trailer for Heaven's Hell. Love, hmm. you're the one thing that I'm sure that's constant in my life. It's you. It's Alice again. The situation's just got worse. What's inside? Edward was a psycho. One more thing. I'm going to marry your husband. Very interesting name. Like I said, and say will be here later on to talk to us about the movie and other things she's been doing. But then let's head over to Yomi. Yomi has uh, something quite interesting for us this morning. Hello, Yomi. Yes, indeed. You know, Wake Up Nigeria is all about uh, bringing the best talent, the very best talent. I've got the singer, songwriter, and performance, uh, performer, Terry Akewe, who uh, discovers his love of music in secondary school as part of a duo. He recorded and won the 2013 City People Talent Hunt. And then he got signed to WizKids Starboy Entertainment in 2017 and was featured in one of the biggest songs in 2018, Soccer. Ah, this guy. What's up, <laughs> man? Nice. Good to see you. Yes, so, um, you uh, are working on you know something really, really good. Mm -hmm. You, you mm -hmm. just released a, a new song and a video. Mm -hmm. But for people who don't know that story mm -hmm. of what happened with Whiskey, just mm -hmm. give us that story in like 30 seconds. Uh, okay, so I um, I made like a remake to one of Whiskey's song, yeah. DJ Jimmy Jat O'Shea. It mm -hmm. dropped in um, 2017, late 2017. Yeah. I remade like I made my version and then I posted it on Instagram. I tagged them Legendary Bin Mute Whiskey, and then after like a few days. They hit me up and then they're like, yo, we want you at the house to make music. And then that's how it happened. Wow. Yes. Can you imagine? Just on Instagram. He put mm -hmm. a song on Instagram. Like, look. All right. So now you've been working with Whiskey. You've been yes. working with Starboy. And what, what has that been like? I mean, it's like, uh, you know, having your head in the clouds and just it's been, a dream it's been, come true. It's been amazing. Trust me. It's been amazing. I mean, working with somebody that you grew up, like, listening to. And then it's like your mentor, at least, like, everything that you want to be seeing, yeah. how the whole process is. And then learning what's, picking what you can get from it. Because, like, it's, everything is a learning process. I mean, you're seeing people that you, people do the things that you want to do. Yeah. Yeah, so everything is like a learning process. Yeah, so it's amazing. Amazing, amazing. Mm. Of course, you're going to be doing something for, for us today. Yes. Talk to us about this song. Uh, this song is the latest song I dropped after Bia. Bia was like my first single. Yeah. Yeah, this is like my second official And it's on me, single. right? Yes, it's on me. Are you ready yeah. for us? Yes, I am ready. All right. Yeah. Terry, the man. Yeah.
It's remarkable stuff that goes on here every morning on Wake Up Nigeria. <laughs> yep, of course, we cannot say it enough. Why you need to tune in to be a part of this, whether you are a late or early riser, you can still be a part of the show at any time between 6 and 8.45. Mike Mesekeno is my name. And I'm Yomi Ope. We're streaming live right now at tvcontinental.tv and on Facebook at TVC Connect. Now send in your comments using the hashtag Wake Up Nigeria. Mm, uh, the TVC it's... app is also available for download at the Android and iOS stores. The app allows you to watch us from anywhere in the world. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> If you guys are wondering where Titi is, she's over yeah. in the kitchen with, uh, what are you guys up to? <laughs> so, we decided to blow your minds this morning. <laughs> <laughs> you have no yeah, idea what's been going there. on in this kitchen. You have no idea. But just know that Chef V got your back, honestly. Yeah. Honestly. Looking Honestly. forward to it. She already, he already threw me a carrot, like a you real see? carrot. So, oh, you see what I'm wow, Chevy, Chevy is already. Yeah, sharing carrots yeah. already, yeah. Yeah. I'll get to you later. So, from wow. the NDS Dance Academy, we will be bringing you a dance piece very shortly. I'm looking forward to that one. Right after that, uh, we will be meeting our celebrity guest for this morning, one of Nollywood's finest, and say Ikbe Etim. Hmm. And then it's uh, makes you feel like. Game day! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> it was late to it. It was late to it. Again, it. No, no, that, that's fast. It has passed. It, it, that, it has passed. That's fast. Exactly. That you missed the moment. Uh, uh, yeah, I did it for you. I'm from the kitchen. Y'all just beefing. <laughs> <laughs> you I missed the moment. Own. It's game day! I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. Thank you very I'm much. I'm pitching for you. Okay, so guys, uh, what, what, what's your plan for this weekend? What are you guys hmm. going to do this weekend? Oh, Hashtag uh, sleep. <laughs> sleep things. Okay, I'm, I'll be doing a few interviews. Um, for, mm. Yeah. For ah. a few, yeah. Ah. Job interview. Yeah. Job interview. Yes. <laughs> a, a few ladies, actually, this mm. weekend. Oh, tomorrow, okay, for your, precisely, for your yeah, business. Okay. My business, uh, yeah. yeah so oh. I'll be meeting some of them. And you know one funny thing that happened? So this particular number has been flashing me consistently. I decided to call back because whenever I see missed calls, I always call back. It could be like a business opportunity. I don't want to miss it. Okay. And then I called the number back and she says, oh, um, good afternoon. Okay, so my sister has been trying to reach you. And I'm like, and you've Who's been your flashing sister? me? Mm. Who's your sister? Mm. I said her sister found, you know, a um, notice of me, you know, uh, wanting, a, wanting a sales girl. Mm. And, you know, that's what I said. Are you were flashing me? <laughs> your sister wants a job and she's flashing me. Mm. No, let's, let's give you a benefit of that. So you don't know that. You've just got a time. little brief intro into how this interview is going to be. So if I'm not even having the interview. I'm not, I didn't <laughs> even bother sending no. any message to her. Because, have? no, because, <laughs> I mean, no, no, so, okay, so first criteria <laughs> number one for me is you must, I must be able to reach you. So if you don't have a phone, it's not. Exactly. That, that's a big deal. It's a problem. Deal. That's a big deal. Well, <laughs> yeah. But you know, the amazing, the amazing thing is uh, when, when it comes to uh, l the labor force right. we have right now, it does feel like a lot of people don't really put as much effort in as they should. It, it feels in like... In trying it, to get a job? Yeah. I, I, f I feel like a lot of uh, the people young people... People just take a lot of things for granted. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, what, when we were looking for jobs back in the day, we, we have the brown envelope with like 10 copies of your CV. You know, you walk the streets. <laughs> you actually go from CV shop to pages. shop. <laughs> yes, yes, you go, like, I remember going down a particular street in Lagos and just going from shop to shop, Yeah. Mm. you know, asking for work. I've actually done that before. And the truth is, out of three no's, maybe you get one maybe, mm. you know, um, and even if, you, even if you don't get that maybe, there's still so much potential. Yeah. But how many, uh, fine, they okay, might say, logistically speaking, it's, when there's social media now, mm. people find it easier to go online to look for work. But the yeah. truth is, there's nothing like that grind. Yeah, yeah so we can, we can, we can plan. You, but you're not looking for a job this really? weekend. Really? No, that's where we were. So, Yomi, we can plan. This week, I've, really? got, I've got an event tonight. Okay. Oh, okay. And, uh, Are you the MC? Oh, yeah. Uh-uh. So, hey, suiting up and everything. <laughs> Big deal, yeah. So, I'm going to be doing that tonight. And then tomorrow, I, I'll get some partly some rest and then I'll be in church in the evening. Yeah, so... You okay. can get rest when you've made money. So for me, I'm, I'm open. <laughs> or if you have the event, just let no. <laughs> people, yeah. people are selling so, market here. Yeah. yeah. Am yeah, I so the only one?
So our special guest this morning is actress <laughs> Nse Ikwayatim. Although her first TV appearance was in a family soap, Inheritance, she came into prominence with her role in the 2008 film Reloaded. She was nominated for Best Actress in a Leading Role at the 5th and 8th Africa Movie Academy Awards for her role in Reloaded and Mr. and Mrs. And we have her in the house. It is great to have you. You are very, very welcome. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. Thank you. <laughs> so you are, you know, um, you are you are a favorite of many people when it comes to Nollywood. One of those. I'm a favorite of what? Many, many people, people. Many people. Oh. Many much more than I know. So I I, I don't know who I'll talk to her and be like ah and say no 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 I don't joke with her I don't joke with her I don't joke with her <laughs> and all of that you know. But let, let's talk about your uh, your involvement when you started into Nollywood. How did how did how did you how did you get come in contact and begin your career in Nollywood? Uh, I don't know if to say I began, I just fell into it. Mm. Fell into it? How do you Literally. Mean? Oh God, my friend. <laughs> yeah, I know. Sorry, it's a running joke somewhere. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, I, after I graduated from the University of Calabar, um, I ran away from home on a day. I'm not telling you that story today. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I ran away from home and... Mm. Uh, I stopped at a bus stop. I got on a bus and I, I saw a camera and I found, that's why I met, you know, a few actors. They were, act, they were doing something and I came down and I walked in and I got a role. Uh, just like and that. so that's, you got not on the bus and that's not inheritance. Okay. That's a different film entirely. That you're oh. not telling us about. I, no, no, why okay. can't I? Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's, it's Scars of Womanhood. It's a really, um, Kate okay. Henshaw was in it. Oh, right, um, right. Late Christy Henshaw was in it. Um, Christy um, Ibukwe okay, Christy was in it. Ibukwe. Yes, right. Christy Ibukwe was in it. So it exposed me to the industry and I made friends there. Hmm. And then when I went back home, it was in Savory. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I had to go back to service. Mm. I went for my service and then back in Imo State. And then uh, nobody was going to let me go into acting. It yeah. was just one of those things. But I still, you know, I met Emma Misong and then I did Inheritance, but I didn't even bear my name in Inheritance. I used a different name completely. So if you watch it and you see the name, you see the face and no, my name's not there. Mm. And you're wondering, hmm. Why so? Why did you use a different name? Because I just didn't want to be that person. Mm. I just didn't, no, I didn't, I didn't think, it wasn't about, it wasn't about people not being able to pronounce my name or anything. It was just about me not wanting to be that person who would be seen and known for doing that. Mm. And then I went back and then I went into banking, hoping that... You I would find fulfillment there or something? Yes, because eventually it's all about fulfillment mm -hmm. and then... I just, I didn't, I didn't, it didn't quite cut it. So w when, when did your family eventually, you know, realize that, you know what, there's nothing it we can do It was no it. longer about them, yeah. or no longer about my mother. No it was about what I wanted. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, but I, I worked in a bank. I did the first time, I quit my job, went off to South Africa, stayed there, got broke, came back. <laughs> um, well, it's typical, isn't it? And I got broke, came back. Um, went into another, um, went to Platinum at the time, and I just got up one morning. It was one of the Muslim holidays, and I didn't go to work after the holiday. And my boss calls me and says, and say, where are you? I said, don't worry, um, that's it. Mm. He goes, mm. do you realize what you've done? Blah, 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 and he goes, he's going off on me. And I said, I don't want to work again. <laughs> it's okay, and I do not need you to write mm. anything for me. Mm. I am not working. And that was it. And that was it then I took time. a pay cut, did fashion. I think I was now getting like 60,000 naira. God, my mother was embarrassed. <laughs> what? And, and, and then I moved to Abuja, and M.M. Isong kept saying, and say, you need to be back here. I said, nah, that's not me. I'd rather just keep cooking, because I had I have a passion for food, mm -hmm. and I must say that I, I, they say I cook very well. I think I just cook okay. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. eventually, I mean, it, it just seemed like, you know, when you eventually went back, 
you were what Nollywood was waiting for because yeah. you know, the awards came, the movies, the roles, opportunities, like back and forth. Uh -uh. You are just, you are, you've been every, there's a period where really? you're everywhere. She was in everything. Every no, I wasn't. Back to back. I have never been in everything. I, I, in everything. I, 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 I really would not like to hear I think, I think every heat, let's say every heat movie, there was a time when uh, say was, ah, uh, Really? Or maybe no, there you just like chose that. to like what I did. How about that? Exactly. Probably, so you, probably. You were probably, probably seeing a lot so. of insane movies. Maybe you were infatuated. Or were you? Uh, <laughs> no, you know, what happens is that Be honest. Name was. <laughs> <laughs> and he's shy. <laughs> well, but it was, so now you have um, Heaven's Hell. That's the most recent thing you, you, you've been involved in. That name is really quite something, Heaven's Hell. Uh, but let's let's just give us a synopsis. What's the movie about? How was it getting prepared? And how was it shooting the movie or being a part of the movie? It was one of the, um, it was a very emotional, emotional draining project. Really? Yes, it was emotionally draining. And I, if, if, would I do that again? The answer is probably yes. Mm. Um, it was, it was okay. But then again, because I think I just, I literally had just gotten married and the next day I went on set. Hmm. So, Alice got married. Mm. Okay. Right. Do you see mm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alice got married. Okay. Somewhere, and so it was there, but Alice got married. Yeah, so it'd be on and off set, it was an emotional, Not quite an emotional experience. I was Alice through and through. Mm. Wow. There was, I, I, I don't think there was a day that I wasn't Alice, and which was very draining. Okay, I'm you know, what, we'll still we'll still talk about this, the synopsis of this particular movie. We'll take a short recess now. We're still talking to and say when we get back, we'll have games also. Don't go nowhere. Oops. Welcome back. It's our game day. And uh, it'll be yummy up against Nse. But yes, let me introduce indeed. these guys just before um, we have on my right, on my right hand side. Mm -hmm. <laughs> in the black corner. In the black corner. Wake With up, his fists in the air. Wake up Nigeria host. <laughs> Seasoned PR and advertising expert. Yes, indeed. The one and only, Yomi Owope in the Ooh. house. Come on, give it up, Timmy Yomi. I want to hear you, Timmy Yomi. I'm not, I'm not hearing. <laughs> ah, where's MM I'm now? I love Timmy Yomi. All right, all right. Okay, let's move on from there. Let's move on from there. Also in the black corner, a connoisseur of Black. Hundreds of movies. It's blue. <laughs> this blue. is blue. Ah, and the blue corner. Okay. Blue. Navy blue corner, right? <laughs> Navy blue corner. Very close to my blue black. Um, it's it has blue. one color. In the blue corner, you know, a connoisseur of hundreds of movies. Nollywood's finest. <laughs> team in the house. Give it up if you have one team say. Give it up now. Ah. I'll give it up for myself. Ah, this is the <laughs> What's it? I love you. <laughs> okay, all right. So I can hear backstabbers. <laughs> okay, so we're going. We'll play five second, five second rule. Okay. So I'll just give a question. I'll just say something, and you give me three answers in five seconds. Three answers in five. Three seconds. Three answers to whatever I say in five seconds. Who's the timekeeper? All right. I'm, 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 I'm the one now. Five seconds. We already have our ad screen. You see that on the screen? It'll be rolling. So all right. Yeah, okay. it'll roll, and then once it's done, you it's. Meh. So um, three answers to each question. To each question in five seconds. In five seconds. <laughs> Can he go first? <laughs> Wait, you go first. You go first. You go first. Because why? Why cool, go first? cool. Because so that you he's just been get doing an idea. This he's been doing this. You know. Uh, no, 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 not really, not really. He's Are not you done kidding? this before. He's not done this before. I'm oh, kidding. you must be kidding. Okay, so Yummy, okay. in five seconds. Are we ready to go? Yes. Yummy, name. Name three fruits that you would not take. Go. I wouldn't. <laughs> Like me personally, or like a human. Five seconds gone. Yeah, me and them don't go. <laughs> <laughs> no, now you guys. That's not how it okay. works. That, that's how. This is that's how it works. That's how it works. Your entire your honor's gone. Okay, so and say you're up next. Yes. Um, give me three kinds of men or three kinds of guys you would not hit on. Maybe their character traits or something. Three kinds of character traits in men, you would not hit on. Humorous. No, you would not hit on. Wait, wait, wait. I wait. said humorous. How about that? OK, OK, OK. Humorous wait, men. Wait, wait, let's restart it again. Let's okay. restart, let's restart it again. No, 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 wait now. Wait, I, wait, it was wait, me, like, the question. You, I didn't you, get you, it. You can't restart I, I, I for her. Now. Ah, <laughs> you're me, calm down. Be a nice guy. All right, let's go. So I'm not let's being go. a nice guy. <laughs> I love that first point. All right, okay. uh, name three kinds of men 
you would... Oh, so part of me is you would hit on. So you didn't read it right. Part of me. See, oh, that's okay. why I said I have to give her a second chance. Part of me. Yeah, you're going right. to give me a second so chance. So three kinds of men you would hit on. Your time starts now. Lecturers. <laughs> that's your husband. Oh. Okay. <laughs> you only have that word, though. You only have that word. I'm talking. He, uh, I said something uh, smart. Why did you break her now? I'm very clever. Well, but, but, for this, but for this one now, she, has, she answered one, so she, she beats you for this round. All right, let's go to the next round. Uh, Yomi, okay. Mike, you're cheating. Uh, right, let's go. The whole world is seeing this. <laughs> Yummy. No, but you were talking when you should have been okay, answering. Fine, fine, no problem, <laughs> Yummy. No problem. Yummy. Three things you do that nobody knows about. Three things. Are we ready? Yeah. And <laughs> go. Uh, I read women's magazines. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah, I need to see him. And I'm loving to see him's face on this one, or maybe Titi's face. But he just answered yeah, one. We should do, we should okay. Do, okay. All right. Yeah. Okay, so, Nse, yeah. up next for you. Yeah. Five seconds. Uh, three right. titles. Mm -hmm. Adekunle Gold songs give me three titles. I failed it. Your time starts now. I don't know. I don't know. I don't <laughs> okay, know. okay. That's unfair. You didn't, you, why didn't you go to Olami Day? Why would I you go to Adekun? Yes. Yeah, that's why. That, that's uh -huh. the game. That's just the game. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Yomi, let's go. All right. Um, oh, really? Three you things. want him to win? No, no, no. This is unfair. I'm for you. I'm for this you. is very, I'm this is you. very sexist. I'm for you. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not having this. I'm okay, not having let's this. Let's go, Yomi. Three things that... And he wasn't doing a female act. No, no. He had to... He, why didn't you ask me about females? Okay, don't worry. Are you not we'll trying get, to... Uh, oh, no. We're still, we're still plenty. Don't worry. <laughs> okay, so, Yomi, three things that your wife does but you don't do for the hmm. kids. Your time starts now. Well, my wife does homework. Um, <clears throat> she uh, <clears throat> takes them to school, which I don't do. Okay. Because I'll be here. Time, time off, time off. Oh. So you don't do homework for them? Oh. I try to. Uh, okay, so that means it's just only one you answered. Yeah. Uh, so you guys are only about on the same Wait, level. No, I, I don't do your oil has finished. Yeah, I need to think. That. Okay, so now let's go. Let's go. Five. Let's go. Now name three things you would steal if you had the chance. Chocolate, uh -huh. diamonds, and a house. Wow! She did this in a record two seconds. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so you steal a house. Where would so, you put it? So this is the first. What? If you stole a house, where would you put it? My dog. <laughs> okay, so she's the first person that's answered three in five seconds. So for now, she's leading. Okay, so Yomi, Ouch. in five seconds. Who oh, give me one of those? In five funny seconds. Questions. Okay. In five seconds, three Marvel characters. Your time starts now. Um, <clears throat> Avengers. Ha! Wait, wait. You put all of them together. <laughs> you put all of them together. Ha! Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> you just, you just said. Baba, Baba, finish this up, Yes, no. Okay. You won. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, that's out. That's out. Okay. Wait, wait. That's out. Like how? That's, you're you're finished now. How you're can finished. you? How can you? You failed. You, you didn't get it. Have, uh, you didn't get it. Five seconds. Know, give me the question again because no. I feel like no, 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 no. Okay, let's say yeah. this one is for you. Okay. I know, In know. five seconds, yes. give me. Three meals that you cannot cook. Your time starts now. Beggary, banga, and atama. Ah! <laughs> you call them flurry. so fast. This I'm sure is... you can cook them. You just probably just. How could you first... know that? Have I ever cooked for you? <laughs> so now she's leading. She's leading you two nil. Two nil. She has answered two nil. Mike, so you're be, I know. You're you're I know. You're, the way you've been tilting the paper. She's been seeing, <laughs> I'm like, seeing, I can't even. You, you, okay, you mean, you mean because this you've been tilting you the, papers, the paper away from me. I don't like sore losers. Okay, I don't okay, do okay. sore losers. Yeah, uh, Yomi, okay. read it. All right, Yomi, let's go. <laughs> Yomi, three things. I'm not playing again. You would. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yomi, three things you would take from a hotel room. Your time starts now. Um, shampoo. I can't steal the towel. It's still <laughs> but <laughs> did he say steal? I said take. So you see, you no, he's about... stealing now. Ah. You... Ah. Everybody did not steal. No, that's not stealing. <laughs> okay, all right. So let's go. Um, uh, let's go. Unse. Yes. My questions are difficult. In five seconds. Yes. Mention three things that scare you. Your time starts now. Bats, spiders, and roaches. I'll give it up now, you people in this place. 3 0. Ah, your miss, your miss. Ah, wake up. Ah, your miss, your miss. Ah, would have oh brought it to your MM for this thing. MM would have been the best. Your miss just. Ah. 
I mean, this is the reputation of Avengers, Nigeria on the Avengers, there are like 10 people in Avengers. <laughs> so you could have just gone Iron Man, okay. one. Yeah. You could so have gone Iron Man, You happy for your own. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, so let's go. Yomi, yeah. three outfits that you would never be caught wearing, even if you are in a dream. Your time starts uh, now. The, the Scotsman's skirt, that skirt. A thing kilt. A kilt, yes. Um, Baba, your time don't finish. <laughs> She's even helping you to answer this. Thing. Ah, this is this is a flooring. Ah, ah, hat trick three zero. Ah oh, man. Oh, okay. Boy. All right, all right. Let's see if we can go one more, one more round. Yes, um, please. Let's, let's go see. One more. Um, How to redeem say? my image? Say. Okay, let's go. Uh, no, no, no. This one, this one will just be too easy for you. Uh, oh, so see where? Okay. You see what ah, I you mean? are winning now. I'm Calm down now. Anyway. Okay. How would I have like... seen them? All right, Nse, let's she go. Texted you. Let's go. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> okay, so Nse, okay. Yeah. three slangs that you would use if you or when you are hungry. Your time starts now. J. I. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Wait, She's who? an actress now. <laughs> She's an actress. I, uh, uh, she has failed this. I didn't say, I didn't say exclamation. I said slams. <laughs> no, yeah, but yeah. do you know what ah, language that ah, is? Ah. Do you know what language that yeah, is? Yeah, which language? It's a BBL. Uh, uh huh. We are, it's a lie. We have to. We can understand it. It's not. Oh, is that not. what? Okay, that okay, means you must be a language you understand. Yomi, we have to head to the kitchen, but this is your final one. This is your okay, final okay, one. Final, Yomi, final. Uh, give us three of your best colors. Blue, red, and green. We have to give you one, so at least you can win one. So forward. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not giving one call. Can I go like this? That you just don't win one. All right. Let's let's head to the kitchen. But while oh. we head to the kitchen, sir, yes. please, Ow. um, can you talk to us just a very very bit? Uh, the synopsis of Heaven's Hell. Just what it is about. It's about two women who are uh, who are not quite sure what they are doing in their marriages, seat, but get sure right? in between it. Something like that. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Welcome. Uh -huh. Nice one on the game. Thank this you for Shabby. beating your me, by the way. Thank you. Thank you very much. For the much. women. Yes. Yes. I'm women always, supporting it's, it's women. I'm yes. always beating them. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, no, we you're needed not. You. you know you're not. Are you sure you can't come back next week? Really? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a morning person. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just have a seat. Yo. Ow. Oh, Chevy. Sorry. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Fantastic. So, Chef V has been hard at work in the kitchen. And, uh, you know, we have this amazing dish she's going to tell us about mm. right now. Talk so we have um, pancakes and veggie sauce. Basically, we sauteed the veggies, and that's what we have with extra crunchy. Mm -hmm. What about pancakes and uh, All right. dressings? All right. So, I know, I heard from a little birdie that Nse doesn't eat breakfast. Is that true? Is it true? She doesn't it eat is. too early. It is. I don't eat, because oh, I'm not a morning person, so I'm probably not up at right. this time. But if I'm up, it yeah. means I'm walking. But I know yeah. you'll be tempted to taste yeah. something yeah. here. What are you tempted to taste? Uh, <laughs> is this, does this count before one person? Ah, uh, no, of course not. We have a small plate right there for you. What are you tempted to taste? Hmm? The veggies. The veggies, Aha! Now that's actually my favorite part. Are you okay now? Let's see. <laughs> oh, what do you think? <laughs> that's it's actually yummy. Mmm. Mm. It is, but... I have to put my name in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what? Um, what? Let's do this. Let's roll okay. you. Okay. okay. Mm. And try. Okay. While she's rolling that pancake so expertly, mm -hmm. we and need to say our thank yous. A big thank you to Homely NG for the kitchen accessories on Wake Up Nigeria. And of course, a big shout out to so, Paula at Paula's Place for the amazing hairstyling. Mm. And say, what do you think? It's yummy. Oh. <laughs> it is yummy. It's just that I don't eat too early. I mean, mm. if you brought me coffee now, yay! Okay. I'd wake no up. Problem. And I beat you without coffee. Coffee I'm is good. on the way. Don't worry about it. <laughs> but, um, no worries. No worries. She'll be back for a rematch. Yes, indeed. Wow. She has yes. to be back so that you can beat her again, yummy. Mm. No yummy. way. <laughs> Ten times over, I will beat you. In fact, <laughs> okay, we're doing bets now. We're betting now. Yeah, How was, much? Slow, I will beat you again. <laughs> See y'all on Monday morning. Bye. This bye continues bye. online. Thanks for